Hi, I'm Steve Jordan with Hurricane Aquasports. Uh, we're here at the Big Adventures factory in Fletcher, North Carolina. And I'm excited to introduce to you a new model that Hurricane has just developed. Um, and it has been awarded the uh, best touring and recreational kayak by Paddler Magazine. And that is the Tampico 130. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that boat in just a little bit when we'll do a complete walkthrough but I wanted to share just a little history about Hurricane. Hurricane is based in North Carolina. Hurricane has been producing kayaks since the late 90s. Hurricane was one of the first companies to embrace a new innovative plastic called ABS Thermoform. The Hurricane name for that ABS plastic is called Trilon. And we'll talk a little bit more about the features and benefits of that. Hurricane was the first company to introduce a sit on top kayak in the ABS trilon material and it's super lightweight. Um, Hurricane is all made in the USA. We're extremely proud of that. And uh, we are one of the best companies that provides a great lightweight boat. And we look forward to introducing you more to some of our other products. And we'll talk about the Tampico 130. I wanted to talk about the trilon ABS plastic that Hurricane kayaks are produced out of. Um, it's really the best of both worlds. You get a lot of the features and benefits you have with a composite construction, but you also get the affordability and also the durability you have with polyethylene. Uh, the biggest difference is that the ABS trilon material is actually a sheet of plastic that is extruded into a sheet. You have a base layer, a color layer, and then you have an acrylic cap that's on the top. And so what you get with that is you get a very rigid plastic um, that really makes the boat perform extremely well on the water. Uh, the construction is actually a two-part construction. So we take that sheet of plastic, we heat it in an oven, and then we vacuum form that over a mold. And then we do the same with the deck and the hull. So we produce the deck and the hull separate. Then we actually glue the deck and the hull together with a lap joint construction and we use a methaculate adhesive that basically chemically welds the ABS plastic together. So it's basically bomber construction. Um, some of the features and benefits on ABS is you get a beautiful lightweight boat. And Trilon ABS comes in about 25% lighter weight than a polyethylene. So you're getting a weight savings like you do with a composite material, but at a fraction of the cost. Um, the other benefit of the Trilon ABS is you get a very rigid plastic. So you don't get any wowing or any oil canning that can happen with that ABS plastic. Um, so it holds up very well. Like a polyethylene plastic, when it gets really hot in the sun, you may see some oil canning or wowing. You will not see this in the ABS plastic. So you get a lot of rigidity. You get less friction on the water. So this ABS plastic really glides smoothly on the water. So what that means is that you take a lot less effort in moving this boat. So you'll really enjoy the performance that you get with this boat. Um, the other nice feature is you get the durability. ABS is a very rigid, hard plastic. So you get very good abrasion resistance. Um, you still got to be a little careful with impact, so you don't want to go running a river, hitting on rocks, and you want to be careful that you're not dropping it, things like that. But the boat holds up very well over many, many years. Uh, the Trilon is also UV stable. So what you get, you'll have a long, long life of this boat on the water and just need to take care of it. Very little maintenance on this. That's a great thing with Trilon. You can easily clean it with soap and water, you know, just keep it stored in a nice environment. And then, um, of course, this material is extremely affordable. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the Tampico. We'll do a walkthrough from bow to stern so you can see all the features and benefits. But I wanted to share with you a little bit more that what makes Hurricane very unique in the market and what makes it a great pop proposition for the paddlers to embrace this new material. I want to take you through the new Tampico 130 uh, and as I mentioned earlier this has been awarded the best touring and rec kayak for 2023. Um, the Tampico 130 is actually we've recycled the name Tampico. Uh, Hurricane has a long history with that model name 
Uh, that was a boat that we introduced in the 90s. Uh, and through the 2000s, and it did extremely well. It was in that day touring category. Uh, we did multiple links in that, and we had such great success in history with the Tampico, we wanted to bring that back alive in the hurricane lineup. So what I'd like to do is take you through from bow to stern and talk about the performance of the boat. We'll go over the hull design, and then we'll start at the deck and we'll go from the bow to the stern and share with you all the features that make Hurricane very unique and different. Um, starting with the hull performance, we talked about the material earlier and how well this boat performs, but I wanted to kind of tell you a little bit more about why we designed this boat. If you look at the Tampico hull and starting from the bow, we actually have an extremely sharp entry here with a little bit of flare that allows this boat to ride very smoothly and comfortably in choppy sea conditions. You'll also see a very pronounced keel that runs the full length of the boat. That gives the hull a lot of stiffness, but it also gives the boat great tracking and good speed. So you'll really like that harder, harder chine all the way down through the keel. As you transition out from that keel, you'll see that you've got a moderate to hard chine that runs almost from the bow all the way to the stern of the boat. What that will allow the boat to do is you transition from a initial stability over to that secondary, it transitions really nice to there and you'll feel that edge to stop and getting that good strong secondary stability. As you're paddling the boat, if you wanna do more dynamic turns, this chine is gonna help you really carve a nice turn. You can do a beautiful offside lean turn. You'll engage this chine and that boat will come around really nice. As you move back towards the stern of the boat, you'll notice we've got a very pronounced stern keel. That allows the boat to track extremely well on the water. When you get in any windy conditions or current, it's gonna really purchase really nice on that stern. It'll keep that boat from wanting to come around um, while you're on the water in, in more, a little bit more challenging conditions. Um, but the design of this hull is a, a Swede form design. And what a Swede form design is, is the widest point of the boat is just aft of the seat. What you get with that is you get good stability, but then you start transitioning more narrow towards the bow of the boat that gives you more efficiency and speed on the water. So you get that stability, but you also get that ability that you can lean with confidence and carve the boat really nice and it's very efficient on the water. So the chines are raised a little bit higher, so you will notice that it has a smooth transition from that initial stability to that secondary stability. So going from the deck, let's talk about some of the features from the bow to the stern. And starting with just going back to the construction, we talked about the lap joint construction. So you'll notice that's the transition of where the deck of the boat and the hull of the boat meet. This is where the boat is actually seamed and glued together. And it's bomber construction. Starting with just some of the features on the boat, you'll notice that we've got injection molded handles that are very comfortable and very rigid. Um, you can use these handles whenever you're transporting the boat on your car that you can tie painter lines from the bow and the stern for safety. You'll notice as we start moving back, we've got safety lines with recess hardware on the deck of the boat. And what this allows you to do is have a contact point with the boat if you ever find yourself in a position that you capsized and you swam out of the boat, you can actually hold on to these lines to transition back to the cockpit area to do a self-rescue and a re-entry. So it's a safety feature that we put on the Hurricane Day Touring boats that I think is very important. When you get to the front hatch, you'll notice that all of our hatches on the Tampico are a very high construction, beautiful quality rubber hatch that is probably the driest um, hatch cover that you'll find in the sport. And we try to build as much safety as we can in the Hurricane kayaks. As you move back towards the center of the boat, you'll also notice we've got bungee cords on the deck. That's for storing any of your safety gear, bilge pumps, um, any, anything that you wanna take with you extra that you have easy access to from the cockpit. So you've got a nice bungee cord 
configuration on the deck. One of our newest features that we're starting to put in some of the sit on tops, wreck boats, and even in the day touring boats is a nice spring loaded hinge hatch right on the decks. Great for storing your, your cell phone, storing any of your little valuables. It is gasketed, so it's uh, waterproof. You can store any of your keys or anything in there. It's spring loaded, so it comes up really nice. Just make sure you latch it really well. As you get to the center of the boat here, you'll notice the cockpit of the boat. Uh, it's 36 inches long, 19 inches wide, so it's very generous, easy to get in and out of the boat. Um, the design of the Tampico, we talked about it's in that day touring category, but we also want this boat to kind of be a bridge between that recreational category and the day touring category. So it's gonna be very user friendly um, with the, the stability that you'll find in this boat. This cockpit is easy to get in. We don't have thigh braces installed in this boat. We wanna make sure it's easy entry and exit. Um, we'll also look at the seat system in the boat. It's our Airstream seat, very comfortable. We take pride in constructing and sewing this in our factory in North Carolina. You've got a very comfortable seat base. Um, we, this is a new seat design for us. The tower of the seat comes up and it makes contact to the deck of the boat. So that gives you a lot of rigidity right in that cockpit area. The seat system also will hinge forward and back. You've got an adjustable strap on the right side that you can pull the seat forward and back. We also have an adjustment uh, up and down. So if you want a little bit higher seat back, We've got a little plunger, you can pull that and you can raise the seat back higher or you can lower it. And then when you're transporting the boat, we made a really nice system that you can actually bring the seat back down. You can hook the bungee, your seat is nice and lower profile so you can transport it. Another feature that you'll see on here, we've got nice comfortable thigh braces or thigh pads in the boat. Uh, we've got pinch and pull foot braces, so you can actually easily adjust it. It's got a trigger on the back side. You just pinch it, you can pull it, so you can adjust your, your, your comfort in the boat. Hurricane puts ABS thermoform bulkheads in the bow and the stern of the boat. So we're not using a closed cell uh, foam. We're actually using the same ABS material that's cut to a perfect fit, and it actually is glued into the boat. Um, not only does that give you storage in the bow and the stern of the boat, it also gives you flotation. So another safety feature in all the hurricane boats is having a bow bulkhead and a stern bulkhead. As you move a little further back in the boat, you'll see we've got a paddle clip, a taco, very easy to store your paddle. So it's easy access if you're doing photography or anything like that, you can easily clip your paddle right in. The stern deck has a little bungee configuration for more deck storage. You can also use it for a rescue. So if you're doing a self-rescue with your paddle and a paddle float, you can actually put your paddle blade under the bungee cord and do a re-entry into the boat uh, if you're in a rescue situation. Your stern hatch is an oval hatch. It's 19 inches long. It's very big, it's easy to get any of your large items like your tents or anything like that if you're doing multi-day. More bungee here on the back for storage and then you've got the injection molded handle in the back. Um, the Tampico, as I said earlier, is kind of a transition, kind of bridging that gap between day touring and actually the recreational category. The Tampico 130 is 13 feet, uh, two inches long. 26 inches wide. Um, you're looking at about 45 pounds, which is extremely lightweight for a 13 foot day touring boat. Um, you know, you're, you're not gonna find anything lighter. A polyethylene boat of this size would be in the 60 pound range. So you can see how this lightweight is gonna be a great proposition for you to be able to manage the boat and load it on, on the car. As far as the price point on the, uh, on the Tampico, it's, it's about half price of what a composite boat is made of fiberglass or Kevlar. So it's extremely affordable. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive 
than a polyethylene boat of this size, but that weight saving makes this one of the great um, you know, boats that you're gonna really enjoy and use quite a bit. So that's a walkthrough of the new Tampico 130 by Hurricane. Uh, please go check this boat out. We're extremely excited about this. I think it's gonna be very popular. I think people are really gonna love the stability and performance of this boat and uh, the affordability. And I think you're gonna love this beautiful Tampico 130. So please check it out. Go visit one of our dealers and you can find out more about the Tampico 130 at the HurricaneAquasports.com website. Thanks for tuning in.